Hi and welcome to the video on timetables. By the end of this video you should be able to read a train timetable and use the same strategy from the last video to help calculate time differences. So let's take a look at our timetable. This is a train timetable from Richmond to Central in the AM and in the PM. You'll notice that the PM are all in 24 hour time so we need to be able to convert that in our heads to 12 hour time. Let's take a look at the question in red. How long does it take to travel from Richmond to Blacktown in the morning? from Blackdown to Central in the morning, and also from Richmond to Central in the afternoon. So let's concentrate on Richmond to Blacktown in the morning first of all, and let's highlight where Richmond and Blacktown are going to be. Now, Richmond starts at 8.56, and it takes until 9.37 to get there. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to see how many minutes there are until 9 o'clock. That'll give me a nice round number to, to start to work with, so it's 4 minutes. From 9 o'clock, I can easily see that there are 37 minutes to 9.37. So if I add these two numbers together, 4 and 37, that's going to tell me my time difference and how long it takes to get from Richmond to Blacktown in the morning. Let's look at the second question and use the same strategy. How long does it take to get from Blacktown to Central in the morning? Well, there's Blacktown and Central, and we're starting at 9.37 in the morning. I'm going to go to the nearest hour, or actually I'm going to go to the nearest 10 minutes first of all. That makes it a little bit easier to calculate. So it takes 3 minutes to get to 9.40. Then what I'm going to go is to the nearest hour, so I'm going to go to the nearest 10 o'clock, which will take 20 minutes. And then from 10 to 20, 10.20, my finishing time, will take me another 20 minutes. Now you might be able to jump a few steps in this, but this is just going to the nearest 10, to the nearest hour, and then to my end time. If I add the 3, the 20, and the 20 together, I get 43 minutes and that's how long it takes to get from Blacktown to Central in the morning. Let's take a look at Richmond to Central, but this time it's in the afternoon. This is why it's so important to read the question. So I'm going to highlight Richmond and Central, but I'm going to look at the afternoon times. Now from 14.30 to 15.50, 14.30 is 2.30 in the afternoon. And I'm going to use my same strategy. I need to go all the way up to 15.50, which is 3.50. Now. My strategy is to go to the nearest 10 first of all, but I'm already at 2.30. So now I'm going to go to the nearest hour, and that's going to take 30 minutes to get to 3 o'clock. Now I want to go from 3 o'clock to 3.50, and that's going to add 50 minutes to my time. We can now see that altogether it's going to take 80 minutes in total. That's the first question, and that's how to use the strategy in order to work out a time difference. Let's take a look at a second question. But before that, <laughs> we need to convert the number of minutes into hours and minutes. Now, 60 minutes is one hour, so that leaves you with 20 minutes left over, and that's why our answer should, and I shouldn't have preempted it, be one hour and 20 minutes. All right, let's look at our second question. We've got a girl, Lani, and she travels from Richmond to Seven Hills in the morning, and then from Seven Hills to Central in the afternoon. The question is, how long has she traveled for? So there's two parts to this. The first part is traveling from Richmond to Central, sorry, Seven Hills, in the morning. So I'm going to calculate that. From 8.56 to my nearest hour, that's 9 o'clock, is 4 minutes. And then from 9 o'clock to 9.41 is an easy 41 minutes. So when I add those two together, in the morning she's traveled for 45 minutes. Now what I want to do is work out how, how long she's traveled for, but in the afternoon. So we go over to starting at 3.11 in the afternoon and go into 3.50. So at 3.11 we start, and I'm going to go to the nearest 10 minutes here, so I'm going to add 9 minutes to get to 3.20. From 3.20 to my finishing time, which is 3.50, I'm going to be adding another 30 minutes. So I need to add 39 minutes to my travel time. What I'm going to have to do now is calculate these two numbers together. Now, to add 45 and 39 together, what I would do is actually add 45 and 40 together. That makes my life a little bit easier. 45 and 40 is 85. Now, I've added one too many minutes, so 45 and 39 is going to be 84 minutes, one minute less than the 85. But I'm not going to forget this time to change it into hours and minutes. Now, every 60 minutes is one hour. So, if I take away 60 minutes from there, it'll leave me with 24 minutes, so it'll be 1 hour and 24 minutes, and that's how long she's travelled for. What should you write down? Well, I'm not going to get you to write down any timetables for this example, but I am going to get you to write down these three steps. Number one, read the question. Number two, find the start and the end times on the timetable on the chart. The third step, 
calculate the amount of time to the nearest 10 minutes, then the nearest hour, and then how long until the end time. And if you can do that regularly, you'll have a really good strategy for calculating time differences. And that's it. Hopefully now you will be able to read at least one train timetable and use this strategy for calculating different time differences. Good luck.